Lokola papa katuku mi bale na mine babwa ke mitole na bango na supi mote mananga liboso na yo na lobi Libo soya kiti na yo to eko tombola Bokonzi na yo e obongi e Libo soya kiti na yo to eko tombola Bokonzi na yo e obongi e Ya ya yo Panda na yo Obongie ya fanda na yo fanda na yo e kumisama wala kumu kumisama fanda na yo e obongie kumisama ama papa e mosusu ute kakayo kumisama ama papa e Mosusu ute kakayo Fanda na yo e Zuwa lokumu Fanda na yo e Obongie Fanda na yo e Zuwa lokumu Fanda na yo e Obongie Libo soya kiti na yo Ya ya fanda na yo. Obongie, ya ya 
Panda Nayo, Panda Nayo, Kumisama, Suara Kumu, Kumisama, Panda Nayo, Obogi, Kumisama, Papa, Mosusu, Ute, Kakayo, Kumisama, Papa, Mosusu, Ute, Kakayo Fanda na yoe Zua lo kumu Fanda na yoe Obangie Fanda na yoe Zua lo kumu Fanda na yoe Obangie Nimoso ya kiti na yo Tole kotombo na kukonzi Bukonzi na yoe, obogie Niboso ya kiti na yoe Niboso ya kiti na yoe Hallelujah Hallelujah again Don't we love Congo? Panda na yoe, obogie The message I would like to share with you is this Recommended Midnight activities. Are we together? Recommended midnight activities. I want to share with you some of the recommended what? Midnight activities. Let's pray. Father in heaven, as we share your word this evening, bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Recommended midnight activities. Midnight is the peak of the night. The deepest part of the night, it is far from evening and it is far from morning. It is the middle of the night. Recommended midnight activities. Midnight is also a time of privacy and even loneliness, if not with limited company, since the majority of the people at midnight are doing what? are sleeping. So generally, midnight is a time when people find themselves alone or with limited company of one or two people. Recommended midnight what? Activities. Many activities do take place at midnight, but not all activities of midnight are recommended. Some are discouraged and some are allowed. That's why we are talking about recommended midnight activities. It is not recommended that at night one goes drinking and dancing the whole night. Why? It is not good for health and it is contraindicated in Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. Let me just read these activities that the Bible says, please don't do these things, whether day or midnight. The Bible says, in Galatians chapter 5, verse 19, 20, and 21, it says, These are the, the, the acts of the flesh are obvious. These are the acts of a sinner. Sexual immorality, sleeping around and you are not married. Sin, impurity, debauchery, even caressing. Are we together? Yeah, that's also sin. Are we together? It's good for us to be very clear so that somebody doesn't say, God, you know, it was not very clear how far I should go. Even that is sin. Are we together? Remember, Jesus began with looking. Yeah, are we together? Jesus began with what? He said, when you look, the process has begun. And when the process has begun, the sin activity has begun in the mind. Then the Bible goes on to say, verse 20, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred. And witchcraft is not just the activity, but it is also procuring the service. If you have got necklaces, waistbands, and things that you have tucked around your house and body for protection, you are a candidate of hell and a passenger headed to hell. Then it talks about hatred. Are we still together? Hatred, hatred. There are people who just hate others for no reason or with, with a reason. Hatred, not allowed. Discord, 
people who cannot just come together and be united. They are always thinking opposite and they refuse to agree with everyone or anyone. Jealous. People who are not just comfortable that my suit is gray and new. Are we together? Yeah, jealous. Then there is fits of rage. Are we together? Fits of rage. These are people who brag around that they are short-tempered. The Bible says, hell candidate with your short-temperedness. Uh, don't play with me. I'm short-tempered. You are just announcing your trip. Are we together? <laughs> fits of rage. Then selfish ambition. People who think about themselves. They don't think about others. When they think, they only think about themselves. There is one textbook for 40 people, and we are just supposed to consult one page. You take it in the library and hide it in a section that it doesn't belong. Selfish ambition. You may get a good grade, but what will you use it? That paper will be used to cook you in hell. Are we together? <laughs> so you, you need to avoid selfish ambition. Are we, are we still together? Then there is dissensions, and then, the, and then there are factions. People who are always in factions, are we together? Opposing others. Now let's go to verse 21. Then it says, envy, envy. Then now the next one. Drinking, drunkenness, whether drunkenness is caused by alcohol or marijuana, it is all candidates for hell. It's not right. Then the Bible says orgies and the like. Now, I said, let me find out what these orgies are. And I decided to read another version. I don't know if our screen version has New Living Translation, and it will tell you. New Living Translation, NLT, says envy, drunkenness, then it says, wild parties. Wild parties. You organize a birthday party, and you know this birthday party begins 10 at night, and you are invited. And then some are very strange. They say we will all dress in white, or they say men come with vests only. You know, those kind of things. Wild parties. Wild parties. Wild parties. And you all fill one small room, one small tight room. And there is an innocent Christian boy or Christian girl appears in that party for the first time. They say it's just a birthday. But deep within them, the instinct, power of the Holy Spirit tells them that there is something wrong in that party. But they go anyway. And they get in and they look at everybody and they can tell that the Spirit of God is not here. And then drinking begins, and for the first time, Fanta tastes different because it's not just Fanta, it is Fanta and vodka combined, looking like Fanta. And so they begin drinking, and what happens? They wake up tomorrow morning. They don't know exactly what happened, but they have a rough idea that something bad happened that will make it difficult for them to go to VCT and test for HIV. And the Bible says that these kind of wild parties, orgies, are wrong activities. This is not right for midnight or daytime. We have come to talk about recommended midnight activities. Midnight is a private time and also a time of crisis. Midnight refers to your most private time, even when it is daytime, it is midnight. Midnight also refers to a time of crisis and trouble and hopelessness since the end seems far. Midnight has two meanings today. Private time, meaning number one of midnight. And number two, it is a time of crisis. What are the recommended activities in our private time? What are the recommended activities in our time of crisis? What are the recommended midnight activities? The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 16 that Paul and Silas were arrested for preaching and they were beaten up and they were wounded after being beaten with rods and whips while they are bleeding and wounded with the cracked bones, they were locked up in prison. And because the Romans knew 
that these guys have tendency to be rescued from prison, they took them deep inside, inside a prison they could not escape. Several doors were locked and they were chained down, hands chained, legs chained, and they were chained there with a soldier sleeping next to them. But the Bible says that at midnight they did something. Acts chapter 16, verse 25 and verse 26. Acts chapter 16, verse 25 and 26. The Bible says, about what time? About what time? I can't hear you. About what time? At about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the other prisoners were not sleeping. They were doing what? They were listening. Listen, brothers and sisters, the recommended midnight activity is prayer and praise to God. If there is any midnight activity that we recommend to anyone and everyone, midnight is a time of prayer, recommended midnight activity. At about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. What happened, verse 26, the Bible says, suddenly at midnight, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And at once, all the prison doors did not open. They flew open. Hallelujah. And everybody's chains came loose at midnight because of the midnight activity. Listen, my brothers and sisters. At midnight of their suffering, they prayed. At the midnight of their pain, they prayed. At midnight of their hopelessness in prison, they prayed. At midnight of their humiliation, they prayed. At midnight where they were suffering from wounds, at midnight when they were not sure what tomorrow holds, they prayed and sang praises to God. Midnight is a time of prayer and praise to God. Listen, brothers and sisters, if you can't pray at midnight, you are a hypocrite and you won't stand the test that comes at midnight. Midnight tests our faith, but midnight is a time to prove our faith. Midnight of privacy and midnight of crisis is a time of prayer. Amen? Amen? At midnight of your studies, you need to pray. You could be pursuing a course that has sent you to a midnight. There are assignments expected to you, and you find yourself at midnight. What is midnight? It is a dark moment where where you come from is very far. The semester has come too far. But where you are going, looking at your performance, is equally far, and you find yourself at midnight of your studies. If there is a recommended activity at midnight other than studying, it is prayer. Because when you pray at midnight, everything will shake, and what could not open will open, and your brain that was locked will be opened by the power of heaven, and in the remaining few weeks, you will have an understanding and have a grade to take home, because at midnight, when you pray, prison doors open. Hallelujah. At midnight of your rejection, you need to pray. When you have been rejected by Character one, character two, character three, character four, and you are on a path of rejection. There could be something wrong with you, not something wrong with them. At midnight of rejection, talk to God. And God will change the software in your brain that has found, has made people to find you resentful. 
And at midnight of your rejection, a door will fly open and a fresh man will come in January and make your life happy. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, midnight is a time of prayer. Midnight is a time of what? Midnight is a time of what? The recommended midnight activity. If you find yourself in the midnight of anything, pray. At midnight of your poverty, where you have not finished the 60% that was required, and 40% is waiting, you are not sure how to pay this loan. You are not sure how to pay the one you owe. You took part of your property and gave somebody, they gave you money you've not paid back. And you are hanging there wondering, what will happen to my poverty? At midnight of your poverty, pray. When you pray at midnight of your poverty, the Bible says that at midnight, when people pray, doors fly open. Hallelujah. At midnight of your pain and sickness, pray. At midnight of your loneliness, pray. At midnight of your failure, pray. At whatever midnight you experience today, it is a time of prayer. These are the recommended midnight activities. Prayer and praise to God. Make prayer your midnight activity and all your days will be bright and successful. Make prayer your midnight activity and what will follow is doors flying open and answers to your prayers coming in. Make prayer your midnight activity. And so I want to ask you today, brethren, it is week of prayer. And it's time for us to pray. And I want to invite anyone who is experiencing a midnight in anything. Could be a financial midnight, a social midnight, a health midnight, or a midnight that you lack peace, or a midnight of confusion where you don't even know that it's midnight. You know, it is so dark that you don't even know it's midnight. I want to invite you today that in this week of prayer, as we pray, God will answer our prayer in your midnight and in my midnight. If you believe in God who opens doors at midnight when we pray, I want to ask you to stand and move forward. Tis the blessed hour of prayer when our hearts slowly bend. As we gather to Jesus, our Savior and friend, if we come to Him in faith, His protection to share. What a balm for the weary! Oh, how sweet to be! Blessed are all friends, blessed are all friends, what a balm for the weary, oh how sweet to be there. Brethren, I'm going to pray, and as I pray, if you have something you want to tell God, just raise your hand and speak to God in your heart. And as I pray, I believe that whatever midnight we are facing, God will open the door. Amen? Amen. Let us pray, brothers and sisters. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the recommended midnight activity. We thank you for Jesus Christ who came to give us hope in our hopelessness. We come before you asking for forgiveness of sin. Because we know sin can stand on the way of answered prayer. Brothers and sisters, let us think about our sins and confess them to God at this moment. Let us ask God to forgive us our known and unknown sins, our deliberate and non-deliberate sins. Because, dear Heavenly Father, when you forgive our sins, your ear will hearken to our prayer. 
your hand will be stretched to save us. We have raised our hands this evening, dear Heavenly Father. We are in midnight of our lives. Midnight in various ways. Midnight in our health. Midnight in our studies. Midnight in our family life. Midnight in our relationship. Midnight in many and various ways that only you can read in our hearts. We come to praise you saying, dear Heavenly Father, you are greater than our midnight. We believe, dear Heavenly Father, that today as we pray, doors will fly open and prayers will be answered in this church. This is the week of prayer. This is the week when you answer prayer of your children. Dear Heavenly Father, bless us in our midnight and let answers come in our midnight. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.